Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jason with Down's Dead Picker. Uh, amazingly enough, uh, we had a, a customer that turned into a subscriber of the channel, which uh, turned into a friend, and that friend actually donated some stuff to us to help our store out, and I just wanna talk about that today. So uh, go back and get something to drink, and let's come back and we'll talk about some uh, items that we sold, and I will tell you the story behind it. Talk to you soon. Hi guys, welcome back. And I uh, just wanted to say that um, uh, there's still a lot of good in the world and uh, we, we're trying it here at Downs Dad Picker. We really wanna help uh, as many people as we can. So uh, we did recently hit 500 subscribers. We are at 508 as of the recording of this episode and we're hoping to get to 550, 600 and ultimately 1,000. Uh, so we can extend our reach and help as many people as we can. So if you have not, if you're watching this, you have not, uh, like and subscribe to this video, please do so. Um, and also leave comments. Comments are very, very important to the algorithm of, of YouTube. And uh, and plus, we'd like to hear from you. So thank you. And let's get into it. So um, I have 10 items here uh, uh, that without any particular order of items of merchandise that we sold. And uh, the reason why we do this is, um, is uh, we want to maybe help other people. So by telling you some of the things that we sold and what we bought and some of the logic behind it, maybe it'll give you an idea of what you can look for when you're out in the, out in the world and, and you might find one of these items and you'll be like, you know what? I can use that few extra bucks this week then you too will be able to have that opportunity also. So, uh, so uh, without any order, we're just gonna jump into this. But uh, uh, the first one is a vintage Rabbit Tanaka retro yellow psychedelic optical illusion light. So uh, Jen picked this up at a thrift store for $3. Um, and we comped this when we got home and they were going for 375 to 400 bucks. Um, I'm not sure what it's used for. I have my ideas what it's used for. Um, but uh, uh, we uh, listed this and we got an offer within 24 hours of 100 bucks. We took it and we sold it for $100 with a $3 pickup. So uh, these lights are, are, I guess they're not very common, but they are very expensive. So it was just interesting that she found this at the uh, neighborhood uh, thrift store and uh, we bought it for a $97 profit. So great find, Jennifer, on that. Um, the same day, uh, um, Magnavox, uh, I bought this Magnavox MWD 2306 VCR DVD combo. So I actually bought two of these. I bought the Magnavox MWD 2706 and the Magnavox DV 2251769 VCR DVD combo. They're, both, they're almost identical combos of video units. Um, I tested them. They appeared to work as what, what I could t get them to test at the actual Goodwill store. I plugged them in, I threw a tape in there, threw a DVD in there, and they seemed to work or fine. Didn't eat tape or anything. They didn't look good. Brought them home. I bought them for ten dollars a piece. Listed them. Uh, tested them. Tested them a little bit more thoroughly when I got home, and they everything seemed to check out. Uh, anyhow, uh, within ten minutes of listing these items, I got an offer for the one with the remote for eighty four ninety nine for the remote control one. And then he, he he messaged me right back and said, well, I'll give him a deal on the second one. And I did, uh, because he, he said he just bought the first one and I sold that one for $81. So within 12 hours from the time I purchased these to the time that I got rid of these, uh, we, we sold them for $460 profit. Uh, so that's two and three. So no, go moving into number four. I had a brother uh, QL700 label thermal printer, and I picked this up at a Salvation Army locally and uh, tested it. Uh, all lights came on, no error lights. It seemed to feed the labels real good. Uh, listed it as is, actually I should say as was, that's my new term now because it already sold, and we ended up selling that for $54.99. So uh, as was, uh, uh, everything tested out, bought it for $7.99 and sold it for $54.99. Uh, full full price offer as is so um uh, guys there's so many things out there that people are buying that uh you know when i comped that actually it had like 30 listed in the comps and it had uh about 100 sales so selling three times faster than it was being listed so that knew i just knew that i'd get a quick return on that so that was another great pickup uh that we found at the salvation army this day and it was on fire this particular day um then we go to the Goodwills and Salvation Army. Some days we strike out, but some days you get there at the right time and you can just sling good deals after the other. 
Uh, so moving on to number five, uh, vintage family business card game. Um, so it's a vintage family business is the name of the game and it's a card game. And uh, 1989 version, sold it for $29.99 and this is a pickup that Jen made at the thrift store for $3. All the games at this particular thrift store are $3. So picked up for $3, sold it for $29.99. It was a great shape, all the pieces were there and uh, it was a just a really, really good pickup. Um, so, I'll tell you a little bit of a story now about uh, uh, a friend of ours that actually is helping us with our business right now. So, uh, Jen uh, was on a roll for a long time buying uh, furniture for Dow houses and posting them and making a pretty good return. If you watch some of the past videos, see some of, some of the returns that she made on some of these profits with Dow House furniture that we've been buying for literally pennies at uh, Salvation Army and other thrift stores. Um, we had a woman by the name of Cindy, who is now our friend, who um, happened to stumble across our uh, store on eBay and kind of reached out to us in a friendly manner saying that we weren't marketing the toys or the, uh, the, the furniture the correct way and that what we're selling is actually worth a lot more than what we're listing them for. Um, we don't know and we're not out to make huge amounts of money. But um, so anyhow, she quickly became a friend of ours. Uh, she has a very extensive history in selling doll house furniture, so she knows quite a bit about this stuff. And uh, she ended up uh, uh, subscribing to our channel, so she's part of our channel, and ended up sending us a, a box of doll house furniture uh, very, uh, and, 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 and exactly how to market it and how to sell it and then donating that to Donald's Dead Picker and to Maisie. So uh, that's just really phenomenal that uh, um, and you can see what the pictures I'm posting here of some of the things she did for us. And it's just amazing that she did that for us. But Cindy, thank you so much. We really appreciate uh, the gift. And uh, um, we are following your instructions to the T and hopefully that we get a good return on that, on that merchandise because uh, it's up for auction right now. So uh, thank you very much. And uh, keep, keep, keep us on the straight, straight and narrow. If you see anything else out there that we're not marketing right or we're not selling correctly, please let us know and we will correct that because obviously profits are important. Also, so um, and um, the more the more we make, the more we can give to others. So uh, the more we donate to charity, also. So thank you, and uh, just let us know. Keep us going. So, uh, um, guys, that's another thing. It's, it's it's really nice that these relationships went through YouTube and through eBay. That we uh, we formed a lot of relationships. Uh, just some people that I that I message back and forth. I feel like those friendships brewing uh, through this channel. So thank you, guys. Uh, my my friends that I haven't met. But I really appreciate everybody. I appreciate everyone's love and support. And um, Jen and I and Maisie all appreciate everyone's backing on us and, our, and to our success. So thank you very much. And uh, that's moving into number six now. Let's move on to number six. Uh, number six is a FM-123 10-rot solar panel kit. Uh, this is uh, compatible with the Mighty Mule automatic gate openers. So this is a solar panel kit that I picked up at the uh, the uh, the bins, but not the Goodwill bins. These were the uh, the uh, chubby bins, and uh, I have a video about these coming out soon. And these these are seven dollars for I picked these up brand new. These are Amazon overstock items, seven dollars to pick these up. So um, seven dollars, and we sold them for uh, um, fifty four ninety nine, and it was seven dollar pickup. So that was another good uh, return. So. Thank you, Chubbies, for that one. Uh, and then um, number seven is Krupp's Black Smart Temperature Electric Digital Tea Kettle. Jen picked this up for $3 at a thrift store. Once again, we tested it at work. It's just a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an electric tea kettle. It's not a coffee pot, so it just boils the water for you, essentially. And um, it, it gets real hot, like two minutes, it boils the water from basically temperature, faucet temperature, to boiling or whatever the temperature you have it set at. Uh, they are very, actually very pricey, very expensive when they are brand new. Uh, this one was a $3 pickup and we sold it for $30. So a uh, good pickup also for Jennifer on that one at the thrift stores. Um, and then moving into number eight, um, Cascadia Board Game. This is brand new in the box, still had the cellophane on it. Um, $3, once again, uh, $3 games, that's all they have at the particular thrift store. Um, cellophane, everything included, obviously, is in mint condition. Quick flip for $27. So, um, that was another great pickup. Uh, I think I got Jen addicted to board games. I buy board games and parts of board games all the time, and now she does it also. And just about everyone that we ever buy sells. 
So guys, uh, board games, especially vintage ones, the ones they don't make anymore, are always good sellers to pick up. Uh, and then number nine is a vintage 1968 Catico Tripoli number 300 original board game. So they do not make Tripoli anymore, uh, especially this particular kind. Um, this was another $3 pickup. It was complete in the box. Jen bought it for $3 and we flipped it for $28.99 within the first four or five days of it being listed. So that has went out also, and I hope that they are enjoying that game also. And then number 10, um, from a video that just came out the other day uh, uh, with uh, the watches that I bought at the garage sale, uh, Felix the Cat Avon watch. Uh, the Avon watches, the brand new in the package, uh, $29.99, and uh, I bought it for $3. So uh, we have somebody that bought one of our uh, Felix watches. So everybody... Uh, that's all we have for you today. Thank you, Cindy, and thank you, everybody, all of our subscribers and all of the people who write comments and everybody who uh, shops at our stores. Thank you so much. Um, like and subscribe if you haven't already. We really appreciate everybody, and we uh, hope the, hopefully that when Grand Sale season here comes, we'll have a lot more material to, to send to you. And also, um, God bless everybody, and stay safe, and we will talk to you next time. Have a great day. Thanks so much. <laughs>